so today I begin my two-day journey exploring Chernobyl. Um, our first stop is a little village called Zalicia, and this is one of the outskirt villages quite far from the reactor, uh, within the 30 kilometer exclusion zone. Obviously people were evacuated from here, which is, uh, we're now in some government building, which is just ridiculous. I mean, like, look at this. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm here for the next two days. I'm gonna be making probably a series of at least three videos because I'm gonna be filming a ton here and I don't wanna leave anything out. The mosquitoes are really bad. But yeah, wow. All right, let's go check this place out. I'm going into the house of my teacher. Oh, by the way, uh, one, one interesting thing about this house. Th this house is more than 100 years old. By the way, this, uh, this thing right here is my own personal Geiger counter. Um, not only does it tell us what the radiation is like where I'm at, it actually is adding everything up, so at the end of the two days, I'll actually be able to see how much radiation I got. So that's pretty cool. But this is just like... Right here we have the monument to the Great Patriotic War. Um, you will never find anything here that refers anything to World War II because it was, you know, a big part of the propaganda from the Soviets. So, to them the war started in 41 and not 39 when it did for everyone else. Alright, and just like that we're done with our first stop, the village. Um, on to the next stop. Kopachi. So this is another village on the outskirts of the Chernobyl area. Um, <laughs> if you hear that beeping, that is my Geiger counter that's going off. Um, without getting too much into like science and stuff. It is quite okay. I'm not getting nearly enough radiation, so it's all good. I'll show you something cool later. But this place is very interesting because what ended up happening was these buildings, this village was pretty much all wooden. And the way that they were cleaning a lot of this, uh, these villages and such was by literally washing off the buildings, the stone buildings. The thing was that the wood was able to absorb a lot more of the radiation a lot quicker. And so, <laughs> they tried to do this new thing to get rid of the radiation in which they dug basically these holes and pushed these buildings into the holes and tried to cover them up. But it ended up just making the whole situation worse and this is actually one of the more contaminated areas that we're actually going to be spending time in. But yeah, so this is an old village, a lot of it's underground now. But here is a vehicle graveyard. This right there, we think, is an old loading facility. Oh, wow. Look at that. So apparently this is a meeting point for the stalkers, which is what they call the people that come in here illegally and like, just hang out. So you can see, I mean this is, this is pretty new stuff, huh?
one thing that's interesting is that these hot spots kind of appear, um, you know, where there tends to be more radiation. You can see here, I'm approaching one. I don't know if you can see the screen, but it says 0.315. And if you go here, the radiation spot is around this area right here. And you see the number jumps way up. Now it's like at 30, which is crazy. <laughs> Nuts. And here we have to stomp our feet <laughs> in case there's any dust or anything on our feet before we go on to what is going to be the last stop of this first video. The entrance sign to Pripyat, which is where we are starting the next series. So make sure if you like this, want to see more of Chernobyl, make sure you hit the little like button, subscribe as well. And yeah, the tour is going, so I gotta stop talking, but this is... This is it. Why I'm here.